Today is the 18th of May, 2016, and I've got a little bit of a surprise. I got a box in today. Been getting a little depressed with this crazy weather and stuff, so I needed something to get me moving and feeling a little bit better. And with this cold, I'm sure you could hear it in my voice though. Um, we cut the box horribly. Huh. This is going to make my harvesting this year a lot easier. I bought this directly from my new favorite company, Hoss Tools. <laughs> this is a carry harvester. Basically what you do, the picture says it best, you put it over your shoulders, on your back, and you pick right into it. It's going to make life a lot easier. Every little bit helps. And that's not something you see very often. Tools made in the USA. You'll be seeing me using this when I go to pick blueberries. Probably strawberries in a few weeks. Figured I'd have to show that off before I show the rest of the garden. And as you can probably see from the sign, this is for a bush early girl. And there's the bush early girl. Sorry, it's a little dark. And same thing with a little bit of leaf litter around the sides. I had to break a few of those branches off that were really low to the soil line. Didn't want them dipping into the dirt and getting diseased. And remember with tomatoes you always want to bury them a little deeper than they were when you first got them. Uh, mainly because the stem of the tomato will put out roots. Sorry about that. Uh, these are my raspberry bushes. Uh, they turned a lot better than they were in the beginning of the year. And these are my new raspberries. This is the extension on the patch. They're the same raspberries, just they're extended over. The roots grew over, and I'm letting them take over. And I'm just chopping around the sides. And hopefully these are going to get tall canes, and they're going to be right here just like the rest. But we got to be quiet. Because a little surprise. The babies are asleep. Yes, the rabbit decided to put a nest in here. It's the same bunny that was being all very friendly in my yard. Decided, hey, good place for a nest. I noticed this yesterday. I walked by and it smells kind of funky there. I'm presuming that's the scent of the afterbirth. Actually, I'm positive that's the scent of the afterbirth. Um, it's all covered in fur. I don't want to get too close and startle them or anything. There was a cat here earlier. I decided to chase it around the yard like a madman. And I don't know how long until he comes back, but he'll probably come back when I'm not around. And I'll have to just keep chasing him until he finally decides to give up and leave the poor little bunnies alone. Um, my fences are pretty well protected at the base, so... The thought was little bunnies are going to try to crawl in the small holes at the bottom. So that's why they're double layered at the bottom, which also helps what's being deep. I'll show you a little bit of them, how well you could see it through the blueberries, but there's fencing side, fencing over fencing, and that's uh, three foot fencing. Comes up about a foot, goes down a little over two feet, and then bows out. That's to try to keep the woodchuck from trying to tunnel under it as well as bunnies. And to keep the little bunnies from trying to just walk right through the little cracks. And once they get big enough where they could try to hop, they're already too big to get through the holes. Um, that's all I really wanted to mention about that. I do want to show you some of these blueberries. Now that we don't have the sun, they might come in a lot clearer. Uh, let's see if I zoom out, if I can make it focus. Hopefully. Yeah, maybe not. Let's try this side. 
Oh yeah, there we go. They are beautiful blueberries. If I focus like this, maybe. Come on. Nope. Not going to want to focus for me, is it? Either way, they're gorgeous blueberries. Uh, sorry they're so blurry, but... They're big, they're getting bigger, and I can't wait to pick these things. They're going to be awesome. I'll zoom out so you can see I have a few little bunches like that on this bush. They are going to be awesome. Well, now that now they come in clear. <laughs> this is my Rika blueberry. And it does live up to its reputation. Everybody says if you're going to buy a blueberry, buy a Rika. They grow really fast and they're very adaptable. And I will say these definitely are. Ah, getting a little darker out than I thought it was. So I'm going to make this one a little short. Um, basically, uh, you're looking at my first Super Sweet 100 in. And behind it is my second Super Sweet 100 in. And this year I labeled them so I know exactly what's going to be going where. And further back, I have yellow pear tomatoes. Ah, it's not enough light if I zoom in. I'm going to walk back to them. That's where my radishes are. I don't see any radishes popping up yet, but that's okay. And these here are my yellow pear tomatoes. Sorry for the little bit of leaf litter. I had to break a few branches when I put them in. I didn't want them to get diseased that quickly. And like the others, they're labeled up at the top. And as you can probably see from the sign, this is for a bush early girl. And there's the bush early girl. Sorry, it's a little dark. And same thing with a little bit of leaf litter around the sides. I had to break a few of those branches off that were really low to the soil line. Didn't want them dipping into the dirt and getting diseased. And remember with tomatoes you always want to bury them a little deeper than they were when you first got them. Uh, mainly because the stem of the tomato will put out roots. 